There is a lot of reasons not to buy the Mac Mini M1 today, especially with WWDC 2022, the Worldwide Developers Conference just around the corner. But if you are on the fence and you need a new Mac now, stay tuned to watch five reasons to buy the Mac Mini M1 from 2020. Thank you to everyone that has hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. This is the Elevate Project. I'm Ryan to help you with your home office tech to elevate your productivity and online presentations working from home. So WWDC 2022 is around the corner and the rumor is that Apple will be announcing a new Mac mini, possibly with the M1 Pro or the M2 chip. If you are needing a new Mac and trying to decide to wait for the announcement or buy now, if you can wait, and if I was in your position, I would wait it out and see what is unveiled and weigh out your options. And you can stop this video right now. If you're still here, I believe there is still value in the Mac Mini M1 from 2020, even now in 2022. Here are my five reasons to buy the Mac Mini M1. First reason is the size factor. The Mac Studio was released earlier this year, and if you can find one in stock, it is larger than the Mac Mini with more power, more ports, and of course, more money. This is the Mac Mini. It is small, lean, and it doesn't take up much room on your desk or can be mounted underneath your desk to have it out of the way. Also because of its size, this thing runs completely silent. This isn't a Mac Pro or other Mac desktops that are huge and can be an eyesore. Second reason is performance. The Mac Mini, like I said, runs super quiet for me, completely silent when working with everyday tasks like web surfing, checking email, and working on office apps. Even when I edit videos like this one, I don't hear the fans ever go on. Compared to other Macs I've owned from the 27 inch iMac, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, the Mac Mini's performance has been impressive. The third reason is the ports. The Mac Mini M1 has enough ports to support two displays, one up to 6K through one of the Thunderbolt ports and the other up to 4K through the HDMI port. It also has a gigabit ethernet port that can be upgraded to a 10 gigabit ethernet port for a fast connection to a home server for fast file transfers. Even with one Thunderbolt port connected to one of the displays, you have another Thunderbolt port as well. It also has two USB-A ports for external hard drives or peripherals and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to connect to headphones or speakers. I personally have a 49 inch display. I have a Rodecaster Pro, one terabit SSD, and a webcam all connected to the Mac Mini M1. My Logitech keyboard and mouse are all connected wirelessly. So no need for an additional Thunderbolt dock or dongles. The fourth reason is Apple software. If you work on mainly Apple software and use the built-in mail, iCal, Notes, Keynote, Pages, GarageBand, and Final Cut Pro, just to name a few, and with the Mac OS, works smoothly. With a lot of third-party apps continuously being updated to work natively with M1, will only get better with the regular applications and software you work with today. Lastly, value. This is the entry-level Mac for Apple. With everything discussed, this machine that is currently selling for $699 US for the base model, that performs better than my old $4,000 MacBook Pro in almost every way, including video editing, live streaming, that says a lot. Out of the current Mac lineup, I believe this is the best value. Because it is 2022, and I don't see working from home going anywhere, I would upgrade the RAM to 16 gigabytes and to a minimum of 512 gigabytes or one terabit hard drive, mainly because you won't be able to upgrade that later. Now, these are my five top reasons to buy the Mac Mini M1. If you need a new Mac now and want the best value, or you are a Windows user wanting to dip your toes into the Mac ecosystem. You still can't go wrong with the Mac Mini M1. 
If you found value in this video, hit that like button so I know you like the content like this one and consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload a new video. Be safe, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one.